Hello and welcome to Christmas. I know we're a little bit early, but it is Black Monday week, so we thought we'd put together some suggestions for presents for sailors. <laughs> yeah, we've done a couple of these videos before and they're always good. We get good comments as well, which gives us other ideas for, uh, for new things that we try ourselves. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of them in this video. We have four or five, <laughs> and they're all really useful. OK, I must admit, when I first heard of bone induction headphones, I thought it sounded like some sort of torture device, not something I'd want to use. But they've got really good reviews, and I wanted something that I could wear at night while sailing. And normally I use the little earbud type things that go in your ears. And the problem with those is you can't hear anything else. Sounds flapping, odd noises are there. So it always made me feel on edge having those. So these, this is the uh, Aftershocks Aeropex model I've gone for, which gets really good reviews. And I can't say how in impressed I am with these enough because they are just brilliant. I mean, they're, they're a completely different uh, way of, of, of doing it for them because what happens is that they go around and they don't go in your ear, they go off your ear. I have no idea how these work. Bone induction, I mean, it's basically, it just goes through and somehow gets, your, gets the noise in there without going through the eardrum to begin with. And it's, it's excellent. As I say, I thought it was just going to be good enough for podcasts and things to, to listen to, to podcasts, but actually I listen to music, everything, because the sound is excellent through these, really, really good. So, you know, I find these, as I say, these last a couple of hours and then, and then die. They annoy me being many years just sort of anyway, being there. And when I'm working on the boat, I'm always worried about them dropping out. In fact, Judy's lost them running as well. Judy now has a set of these to go running with. Finds them much better. I mean, that's sort of what they're meant for because you're running around and you know traffic and all the rest of it noises around you you need to be aware it's all very nice to have your music there but you want to be aware of what's around around you and that's what these uh, you know let you do so let's have a little look at them they're very light they've been getting lighter and lighter as the sort of versions go on apparently and these ones the reason one of the main reasons i've got these is that they are completely waterproof they have a, a charging lead that just is magnetic and goes goes on from the outside just like that very easy it's just sort of pulls on and off um, and actually they give you two of them in the in the pack which is very good I think um, and yeah so charges up as I say last for they, they quote eight hours I haven't I've used them all night and they haven't run out so you know I think that's probably right there's a couple of little um, uh, microphones in there so you've got a little button on the side you can press if you if you're actually using it with a phone and you want to speak through it and it picks up through those I haven't used that I don't know how, how good the, the mics are at picking that up uh, but yeah for me I would say, and for any sailor, absolutely brilliant these. You can work in them, you can sail and still hear what's going on. These are great. Occasionally companies come to us and suggest we try out their presents. So this part of the video is sponsored. Yep, uh, we have tried this out for six months before we've uh, actually put it in this video just to make sure it works how we wanted it to, and it does. And we use it pretty much every day. OK, so it's got the word surf and shark in it, so it's vaguely nautical, but how is it relevant? Well, it's relevant because we don't have a fibre optic cable that comes into our boat to give us broadband. We have to take it from 4G and Wi-Fi and from whatever source that we can in multiple countries. And that puts you at risk. A VPN, if you don't already know, is a virtual private network. It means your personal data can't be accessed from outside. Basically, you can't be hacked. Let the hacking begin. First up is Kirkland. They keep everything open and allow indexes in their Apache configuration, so a little wget magic is all that's necessary to download the entire Kirkland Facebook. Good stuff. So for us, whether it's being online for navigation, for working on our YouTube channel, or doing a Zoom conference call, this is Judy on a work call. She used to actually wear trousers when she read the news. Seems standards have slipped. But truth be told, one of the biggest uses for us is probably entertainment. Things like Netflix and Amazon Prime have different programming depending on where you are in the world, so sometimes you have to make it look like you're somewhere you're not. But the big one for us is the BBC iPlayer. For the iPlayer to work, you have to be in the UK. Well, of course, the VPN can make it look like you're in the UK, but the BBC has got very good at blocking VPNs. It gets very frustrating. Last year, I changed several times and ended up with a VPN that promised to work. In fact, they advertised themselves as the VPN that just works. Well, it just didn't. So I'm glad to report that Surfshark does work. And at this time of year, that makes Judy very happy. 
And who's going to win the Glitter Ball this year? I'm watching Strictly. One other cool thing is that a subscription to Surfshark covers all of your devices. We find that really useful. And if you enter promo code Sailing Feral, you get 83% off and four extra months for free. This next one we've been meaning to put into a video for years. It's been here pretty much since we bought the boat. It just sits there, not drawing attention to itself until it's needed. Yep, it really is needed for safety. One of the biggest threats on board a boat is fire. You wouldn't necessarily think so, things are surrounded by water, but we have a lot of wood on board, and even if you don't, the only way to get out of a fire, of course, is, is in your life raft, so that's pretty final. So the best thing to do is have a good fire alarm. Now, the ones we've had in the past have been frankly quite big and bulky, and they have these tiny little batteries which are annoying because you have to change them from time to time and you don't necessarily know when they run out. So when we found this one, we were well chuffed. It's on Amazon and it lasts for five years because it has a lithium battery, which means it doesn't run out. You just have to change it. But as it only costs $20 or so, or what, 15 pounds, we figured that's the best way to go. It's also quite small and discreet. So gone are the days when you burn the toast and you end up standing in the galley, flapping around with a tea towel, trying to put the fire alarm out or stop it from screeching at you. Instead, you just hit this button and that switches it off. Moving now from safety to comfort. And this is a thing we're often asked about on the boat, possibly more than anything else, and that's our chairs. Yeah, you spend a lot of time sitting down on a boat, so you need your chairs to be comfortable. We've had two of these smaller chairs for a couple of years now, and they're brilliant because they've kept their cushioning, which is really important. And we've had others in the past which haven't done that. They've gone really quite hard at the back quite quickly after about six months. So I'm really pleased with that. But the key thing for me is to be able to lie out and sunbathe, even while Steve's doing the varnishing. And then you need this one. It does lay completely flat, or when you're catching the last of the rays, like I am now tonight, sit with a bit of a curve and just chill. Until this evening when we have film night in the cockpit and then you will notice we've only got one of them which means that we fight over it. No we don't, we take it in turns but I think the only solution is to get another one. Yeah so I just hope they can deliver another one of those to Turkey. I don't know, I think we can share. <laughs> Anyway, this final item is very techy, so I'm going to hand back to you. <laughs> it's a strange one, this. Not the sort of thing you would think of for a present for someone, but I think it will work. And if it's not for a present, buy it for yourself because they're great. Have a look. Now, this one might seem a bit strange. Having an electrical connector as something to uh, recommend as a gadget for a boat or uh, a present uh, as well. I mean, odd thing, but I guarantee you, if you gave this as a present to someone, if someone gave it to me and I hadn't used them before, I would be ringing you up the first time I used these and say, what a brilliant thing it is, because these things are the devil. These little chocolate block things that, you, that we use. Difficult to get to, to, to get a screwdriver in. They're, they're not that secure while you're trying to to do one side up, the wire falls out of the other. I mean, they're just horrible. They really, really are. And I'll show you why these things are so much better. But before we get to that, just to be clear, what I'm talking, talking about here, uh, little connections that we're doing around the dry parts of the boat, not anything that's anywhere near the bilge or in the engine room or anything like that, where you would be using proper connector. And I like these sorts of things, which have a heat shrink over the top. They've got glue inside. You need a crimper. So you put it on, you crimp them, you heat shrink them up and the, the, the glue inside seals them as well so it's completely waterproof that's what you need anything uh, that's, that's liable to get wet but for you know normal things that uh, around here I mean like in the in the in the junction box behind here you know it might be something you might want to use just just for that to tap into something uh, it's the usual the way I would use it which is why I like these sort of triple ones uh, they're all joined together so you put a wire in one it's joined to the others so you're not trying to like with the chocolate blocks have bits of wire between the two trying to gang them up this is a three gang one so whatever you put in is three ganged so normally the three the triple ones are, are the ones you want because you're going to be cutting into a wire putting the two ends of the wire you've cut into there and then the extra one in here is a tap off now these can accept all sorts of different sizes so i've got one here so this is uh, a 12 gauge which is the biggest these particular size you can get bigger ones uh, 
will accept. Uh, you, you cut it to length, it's got a little gauge on the side there, it's supposed to be 11 mil, and you just push them in. Um, you'll see, you know, through the, because these ones are clear, these new ones, uh, it, that it comes right up to the end. And then if you had another one you wanted to connect to that, this doesn't matter, it's a different size, come, comes in again up to the end and just snap them shut. Uh, and now these two wires are connected together. And they're secure in there, you can't pull them out. To, they're, it's sprung loaded as well. So these, these old ones with the chocolate blocks, you'd, you'd do them up and then if you go back to them a, a while later, you could quite often just nip them up a little bit more because the copper just compresses down and, and they need tightening. Whereas these are on a, a sprung loaded guillotine, so they're always gonna keep the right amount of pressure on. You know, they really aren't secure in there, but they're just so easy to do. So all in all, just a really good little device, clever design. So that's it. Happy shopping. Don't worry, we do know it's still November, but Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving and all the rest of them. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's all the details, obviously, as usual, in the description there. So go to those and uh, pick out anything you might need. And we'll be back next week with an episode. See you then.